Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mesh. Welcome to the Bathroom Simulator. You know, I just have to play some more of these simulator games to be honest with you. But really, this one in particular because I saw my well, my best friend in real life, Shane, play this a few weeks ago now. And it was absolutely hilarious. Not for the fact of how diabolical this is, but because of how seriously whoever made this game Whoever you are, you took this really seriously. Like you, you must have some real issues with bathrooms or something. Cause you got, you guys are gonna see. We're gonna play in this. You guys are gonna see what I'm on about in a second. Choose the most appropriate stall. It's like a little uh, uh, Q and A kind of thing, like a little uh, testing tutorial. Like you have to kind of test your knowledge. Now, do we stand between two people? Do we go by the side, or do we go by the side where there's a gap between each person? Now, if I'm in this situation and I walk in the bathroom, there's usually like a rule, isn't there? Uh, you usually put a gap between the person next to you. It's more or less just because there's more. It gives you all. Give, all of you get room. If, it, if there's a choice where you don't have to stand next to them, then you you don't really stand next to the person, do you? I don't. If there's a guy at a stall, as long as he's not a dick and he went straight for the middle stall, you know, there's usually three stalls, I'll go by a gap between. But anyway, I'm probably going to pick the stall on the right. It seems appropriate. Great, so we've got the first one right. You should always strive for at least one buffer urinal between you and someone else. Keep it off simple, a eh? Bathroom simulator. What a strange game. Choose the most appropriate stall. Okay. Now, we could go all the way to the end. However, what if somebody stands next to me and closes me in? So, you know what? I think around here looks good. Two gaps between each side. Yep. Great. Four or five are acceptable. Always oh, six gives you the widest buffer zone. You run the risk of being boxed in by the next psychopath who comes in the door. Oh, that is brilliant. Buffer zone and a psychopath coming into the toilet? What kind of toilets do you go to? This is why I just said at the beginning of the video two minutes ago, whoever made this game has some serious bathroom issues. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love this. Okay, next one. Choose the mo Oh, this is a tough one. What's this thing at the top there? Play air traffic control games. No thanks. Oh, it's just a little advertisement. Um, I'm gonna go for... Ah, uh, wait, the guy goes there. There? Ah, damn, I should have gone for the side. Incorrect. Choosing either of the center urinals will invariably lead you to being coupled with a pervert. Apparently, everybody you stand next to uh, by a stall in any bathroom is a pervert or a psychopath. So, be warned, guys. It's a dangerous world in the bathrooms out there. Choose the most appropriate stall. Uh, I bet you if I click the one next to the biker, it's going to say no, but I might just do it for the lols. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go here by the guy in the suit and the guy in the shirt because they're more normal looking. Because <laughs> this guy's obviously got something against bikers or people that listen to rock or anything. I'll do it. Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Do you really want to be boxed in the corner by the pervert in the biker shirt? Oh, he's a pervert, is he? He's a... Why is he a pervert? What? Choose the most appropriate stall. Um, I'm going go for this one. Oh, baby. Correct. Urinal fall comfort comfortably. Oh, comfortably. I can't even speak today. Groups you have two other guys, sort of like a miniature football team. So is this guy like all by himself? Poor guy. It's like when you pick your football teams and you're that last guy who gets picked. I hate that. That was me, guys, at school. I was always the last guy that got picked on football teams. I just wish I was better. Choose the most appropriate stall. Uh, buffer zone, dude. Correct. There are no urinals available. Pretend to wash your hands for a few seconds or risk the germs and take a stall. Risk the germs? What? You wash your hands after the stall anyway, straight after. And it's like, what? The germs are touching the toilet seat if it's down. If it's already open, you're not exactly even going to touch the toilet seat or anything. And the doors, if they're already open, you're not even touching those. So I don't know. And germs in general, we touch everything. We go to a pub, we go to a restaurant, we touch the table, we touch the chairs. I know they're cleaned or whatever, but toilets are clean too. It's not as messy as this guy thinks it is. Choose the most perfect stall. Um, okay, I can't risk being stood next to someone, so I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, oh okay. You are better off choosing either of the available stand-up urinals as opposed to the germs and disease you may find in a stall. Germs and disease? My head is going to explode right now. 
it's going to go exploding all over this wall. Oh, I mean, also germs in the way. Oh, uh, oh god. Yo, oh, correct. You should always strive for at least one buffer zone. Yeah, I've already done that one, right? Uh, okay, this one's tough. Um, miniature football team, eh? Oh yeah. Shit! I thought it was a miniature football team. This one is tricky. Mm. The urinal at the far right is best, as it offers breathing room. Breathing room. Yeah, you know, I just think to myself, the guy who made this game, he sat down, and he has like this absolute obsession for bathrooms and stalls, and everything to do with public bathrooms or toilets. And it just was like, I need to make a game out of this. I need to vent off my my anger and my stresses and my wisdom on bathrooms to the world. It drives me crazy, dude. Um, I'm trying to think here. Shall we go for a five-man team or a four-man team? But that'll give me breathing room, right? Correct. Don't sandwich yourself between two other people when you have the option of choosing an end urinal. Thank you. Uh... Correct, the far right stall would be okay, but you sure should avoid the psychopath with the biker shirt as much as possible. Uh, so if I start wearing a biker shirt, that makes me a psychopath, apparently. Okay, whatever. Oh, I want it to be the douchebag and be the one that stands directly in the middle. Don't stand directly in the middle, because the next guy that comes through the door will be forced to stand next to you. Yeah, I can't click that one, it's not in service. Correct, take advantage of the privacy created by the busted urinal. <laughs> uh, shit, I should always go for the stools instead of the... Uh, I mean, the urinal instead of the stools. The sit-down stools are probably filthy. Don't be afraid of the, of the nice business, man. S stereotypes, guys. This The guy who made this game, serious stereotypes. That is what makes this brilliant. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. But it's brilliantly bad at that. Okay, now because it's the psychopath, we have to go for this. You know? <sighs> the sit-down stores are probably filthy, but they are your best bet in this situation. Ooh, make sure you have your phone ready to call 999 or something. Choose the most... Ooh, this one's tough. I don't know. Uh, more breathing room here. Oh, <laughs> breathing room. Correct, the far right urinal would be wrong because you are paired and boxed into a corner. Number two provides some breathing room. <laughs> Uh, that guy's probably taking a dump and it'll smell, so I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, oh, I'm pretty good at this. Correct, sit-down stalls are a little different from stand-up urinals because there is no such thing as getting boxed in since there are private stalls go with six. Uh, middle one. Correct, number three is your home, otherwise others can hear what you are doing. Plus you need to have a adequate smell buffer. An adequate smell buffer. What? My, my my brain is going to explode right now. I, I just don't get this anymore. Um, oh, this one's tough. This one's really tough. Because I need my adequate smell buffer. And I need my privacy. And it's filled with germs. And, you know, let me just do that a little bit. But this guy's a, a psychopath. <sighs> Yo, this is tough. Eeny, meeny, money mo. I should take a wise toe. If it's girls, let it go. Eeny, meeny, money mo. Oh! Eeny, meeny, money whoa. If you can't make a decision, just do that. Answer to everything, guys. Correct. The dude next to you is scary, but you are better off than sitting down. Um, oh, this one's tough. This one's really tough. I'll go for this one. The stall is farthest from the stinky herd. They're all really stinky, guys. I got a really good score! You know, I think that's like an A. I must have got like an A grade right there in my bathroom knowledge. So I think I just got a degree in bathroom toiletry, uh, like a toiletry course. I feel great right now. So I can now go to a public bathroom. I'm ready for the real thing and I will know exactly what to do. Avoid all bikers. Don't go in stores because they are filled with germs and the stinky people there. And to not box myself in and give myself some breathing room with an adequate buffer zone. Thank you, bathroom simulator. I learned a lot. Goodbye, guys.